everyone, welcome back to today's video. Uh, this video I will be showing you how to make a 3D bauble nail. So here I've got Nail Sugar's Shamrock Shock which is a beautiful holographic green fine glitter. I'm just going to cover the whole nail in this Christmas glitter, actually it's not a Christmas glitter, it's just a normal green glitter that they do, but I've been using it for pretty much all my Christmas nails that I've done that I need green for, I have gone to Shamrock Shock. This has been my go-to green glitter for Christmas. So once the whole nail is covered, I will then encapsulate the nail in clear acrylic. So the, fi the file, the nail is now filed and buffed and I'm using my Blue Sky No Wipe Top Coat as usual. So this is what the glitter looks like once it's been top coated. To create the bauble I'm going to use Nail Sugar's Burlesque. This is my go-to chunky mix purple glitter, I adore it, it's amazing. I'm also going to need only one of these little tiny snowflakes. So onto the nail, I'm going to place a small bead of clear acrylic. It's quite a wet bead because I want it to sort of run out into a circle and I'm helping it do that by patting it down into a circle shape. Then I'm going to take some of the burlesque glitter and pop it onto the circle of acrylic. Obviously this is going to be our bauble. So I'm just trying to push the glitter out, neatening the sides up and pushing the, the glitter <laughs> into the acrylic. Then um, I'm taking another small wet bead, popping it onto the glitter, and then I'm gonna take one snowflake and pop it on top of the burlesque. So this is gonna be the decoration of our bauble. Uh, you can hand paint a design onto your bauble if you wish. I decided not to today. So then I'm just gonna sort of pack the top with clear acrylic. I'm just sort of moving it around to make sure uh, it doesn't run in the wrong place. Um, I should have drained the uh, monomer out of the brush but I didn't stupidly. I then decided to pat it down and I was going to leave it sort of flattish. But then I decided afterwards that I wanted it to be more of a dome shape. So I then went and added some more acrylic onto the top. Then I held it upside down for a little while just until it had set. So once the acrylic on the bauble sets, just take your hand file and run it around the edge of the bauble just to neaten up any wonky edges. You might not need to. Uh, I think I buffed the top and then I just dusted off. Oh, there we go. There we are. I'm buffing the top. Then I take my little brush and just dust off any dust. Dust off any dust. <laughs> Uh, then I take my top coat and I top coat the bauble. Uh, I'm going to paint it with gel, po not gel polish, uh, my Elite 99 gel colour paint stuff. Um, I needn't have top coated it before I'd done that, but I decided to anyway because at the time I wasn't sure what I was going to do on the bauble. So I'm using the silver because I think purple and silver go lovely together. I'm just going to paint around the outside of the bauble. I wanted it to give it a bit more definition, so I thought if I go around the bauble, you might be able to see the outline a bit more. Then I painted the 
of the bauble and I added a bow and a little bit of ribbon dangling down on the bauble. You don't need to do this, you can just put um, the, the line going straight up, uh, which will be the string hanging from the tree, if that makes sense. I'll do that in a minute. I just like the bow, I think it gives, I just think it's a bit of extra detail that looks nice. Ta-da! Pop that in the lamp and cure it for 60 seconds. Then take your top coat and top, I just top coated around the gel, I think. Oh, and the top of the bauble. Pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds and that is your nail complete.